Hey everybody, Steve here with SRStockProperties.com. Uh, this is going to be a two-part series video. Uh, I am out today looking at a property that is a potential uh, rehab and rent type property. And actually, I'm looking around the street now. I'm going to let you take a look here in a minute. But this is a good house and I love it because you pull up and it looks a little trashed out and junky. Uh, that initial look sometimes scares away some of the investors. Uh, on the property and, and makes fewer competitors uh, on the property. Again, the market's gotten with, uh, filled with a lot of savvy investors, so you know there still is good competition. But I always love when you pull up to a property in a good area that just doesn't look that great. So, anyway, as I'm looking here, I'm going to turn it around. This house, definite boarded-up windows. Uh, I don't know if you can tell the gutter there is ripped off. Uh, it's older siding, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, looks like the asbestos shingle type siding. Uh, but definitely, as you look down the street, this is a nice, nice neighborhood. Nice lawns, well-kept homes, uh, nice space and living space down here, uh, nice quiet street. Um, so this is a really neat property. I'm looking the other way. Really nice homes and in and a, and a cute area. But again, this, uh, this is a, a foreclosure property. I am going to go ahead and go on in, and part two of this series is going to, going to uh, just take you through my quick analysis of the property. I want to say this, uh, I'm going to start saying this more in my videos. If you're starting out, uh, you definitely want to take a look at properties with people that know what they're looking at, whether it's inspectors or your heating and cooling guy or uh, you know someone who specializes in pest control. You might want to check for termites. I share that because I've done this for several years and uh, I have had requests from people that, that want to know my background. I'll put a video out later that just kind of takes you through how I went from uh, doing renovations myself physically to becoming a real estate broker to becoming uh, kind of overseeing my own company where I, I handle crews and the brokerage side of things and renovations and stuff like that. But I'll, I'll give you that later. But my, my point is uh, when I take you through on these videos pretty quickly, um, I have somewhat of a trained eye and I've experienced um, just hundreds of these homes and have been in them. I know what to look for. I know what each municipality is looking for. So those are key things you're going to want to develop in your part of town or uh, whatever state you're in, whatever city, county, whatever municipality. Get to know their rules. Get to know what they are going to look for. Get to know what they're going to demand of you uh, on these houses. And again, as you do more and more houses, as you talk with your contractors, as you do work yourself perhaps, you're going to know what to look for in these homes. And uh, and that's the big thing. Uh, I promised you on, all, on my website I'll always shoot it straight. I won't make it appear one way and put you in harm's way. And, uh, and so that's why I tell you, you really either want to develop your skills such that you know what to look for and are confident in that or bring people in to help you out um, help you out with that process especially in the beginning when I first started out I probably got of the first four or five that I actually got under contract I ended up backing out of I got nervous I got scared I didn't have enough information I hadn't done enough of that type of work I was worried about the house falling in or whatever uh, whereas today, um, through my experience, I've, I've gained a trained eye that, that uh, I can usually avoid most headaches. But anyway, uh, part two is coming up, and I'm going to take you in this house, and we're going to talk through this as a possible renovation.